Excuse me, Suko. Beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. No, what do you mean? He didn't even get up. He's like, I'm a good boy. He's like, I have the heater bed. Hi, buddy. Oh, should I bring those two bowls in? What bowls? One with all the cat food. No. Because he can't have it. Oh. You can't have it. You're just a sensitive guy. Sorry. Oh, I did want to get it's Friday. I did. That means nothing. We've been doing chores all night. And we had to work. <laughs> yeah, I had a work issue come up. Just. It just turned off. Or must have. Um, must have hit. Okay. Yep. I think. Um, well, it seems like it's staying, but I think I'll get that rubber stuff too when I leave. It's the 16th of May. I want to say I graduated 22 years ago from college today. We've already passed the 30th year. Last year. You won 98. And you were... Uh, no, 89. How? Of high school? Yeah. Oh, for high school for me it was 93. Oh. And that would be June 22. I was, it was starting to click in and that was a big gap. Co college. <laughs> I graduated in 98. Poop for a week. Hi everybody. Ooh, a bakery sounds nice. <gasps> but you can do that on my lap. There was that bakery yesterday we could we should have went to. Oh, we could just like haul the whole bed over too. He's very sleepy. He says this is after my hours of night night time. I think Jess was having uh, cleaning anxiety, so she started ahead of time. We didn't clean last weekend because I wasn't feeling up to it. And so now the house is kind of yucky. Look at that zit. It's still there. It's like a... It's not as bumpy, but it's like a... It's flat. I think it might just be like a blackhead now. Well, that it's... um. Oh, careful, boy. He's his his love bites are getting harder. Maybe we should squeal like a little girl when he. I do. Us. When this morning I was like, ow. We go, ow, jump and go. Popcorn. Yeah, we're gonna come. We can't leave the boys. You should watch. Oh no, we don't need that here. We don't need all those. No, it's like I, I can't eat a dozen donuts myself if I try it over several days. It will go bad. Yeah, it's even with Chris's help. And I, the ice cream from last weekend is still sticking to my uh, mid-tire. <laughs> Frost donuts is like a month pleasure for me. What do I do with the oh there I know I know what I do. And it's when he goes to the dentist. I'm a, I allow myself a donut after the dentist because especially if I'm in discomfort, because I kid you not, the pain levels get cut in half after eating a donut. Just make sure your mouth is already achy. Have a donut. It's counterintuitive, but it works. Repeatable. It may be totally placebo, but if it works, it don't matter. It's probably triggering the dopamine in the brain. And 
These guys were wild animals this morning. They were very needy. <laughs> That's why they don't do those things. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed it like, rawr. Oh, you're supposed to wrap them and cling and put them in the fridge, dear. Well, because I will eat them, I don't want them around the house. Look how cute he is. <laughs> he didn't wait for me to tap his paw first. <laughs> he says, I'm smarter than you. Look how excited he is. He's like... You left your bumble. Yeah, when I'm like really well behaved and like have willpower, it, it's like feels really good the first day, but then I start craving it the next day and then it just starts building and building. What I've learned is to never shop, grocery shop while hungry, because it never ends well. Touch his tail. I didn't do it. It was your brother. It's supposed to rain here tomorrow. We didn't expect that. You're so pretty. Boys have their next vet checkup on the 27th of May. Vaccinations. More vaccinations. I don't know what more, but more. And then after that, it's going to be June, and I think we'll almost get ready for adoptions. And tonight I was giving Beatrice her nightly pill, and this new the new pill that she has dissolves quickly. So if I don't get it down to get it, guys are real quick, it just it starts dissolving, and then she's like, ugh, 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 yuck, 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 and runs away. Um, so he started using a pill popper. I don't like those things because it's like a, I need two hands, and pill popper takes one additional hand. So I tried it today, using it to probably open her mouth and pop it in, and B was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, that was easy. Gave her a couple of treats on the on the counter, gave him the key a couple of treats, and the whole night long, I'm like, how come nobody's eating that tree? Like an hour, it was about an hour. Yeah, and I went over there and investigated it, and it was the pill. I was like, ah. Because Nikia was begging for her treats all that whole time, and she's been up and across that area multiple times, and it never got eaten. Now we know why. It's a shame. Cats are smarter than us. No, I held B. She used the pill popper. Perfect. You gotta stop with your biting, Mister. B is very forgiving of the giving the medicines if. I give her chicken treats right afterward. Which I am very thankful for. For all her meanness to other cats, she is extremely patient and kind to humans. Yeah. How to stop using your cat? How you, how to stop your cat from using your new bed as a scratching post? Um, try putting a okay. Does she scratch the, the you know like this, or get on the bed and scratch? If she's scratching like this, try putting a scratching post right there. Um, other another option is to grab get the big squares of cardboard scratching pads and sit it on the ground right where she tries to sharpen her claws upwards. A lot of people put use uh, foil as well. So 
or is double-sided sticky tape? Yeah, I've used uh, double-sided sticky tape on the corners of a couch. They make, they actually make tape designed for that, for fabric, and it worked really well for me. Yeah. Uh, if if if, uh, if it's a new bed frame, they may not. But just get uh, one of those post um, scratchers. That's just a base that goes straight up with a little extra thing on the end. Um, just insert it right there. Or they have ones that hang. Has a little loop at the top, and it hangs like intended for doorknobs. You can maybe flash hang it on the end of the post so it hangs down or something. That would encourage them. To use that, I, um, I would not put it there until she actually does scratch there. Because you don't want it to encourage the scratcher if she's not already scratching. And one thing for furniture. If you cats are known for doing furniture, get microfiber. It's very high um, uh, thread count. And their claws have trouble purchasing, and therefore it doesn't work very well. Over time, it, they will wear it down. So you uh, keep, just keep their claws trimmed as well, or use claw caps. Now, if you do use cloth caps, keep in mind that they, they sometimes they're, they're supposed to fall off after about a month, but they don't always do. Um, so you want to monitor them. If the claw, the claw will, stick, will keep growing, and if the cloth cap never comes off, the claw will grow into the pad, or the, the claw cap will grow into the pad. So, and then you have to use big clippers to cut it off. Twix was like, doo, 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 doo. well, when Twix was trying to go into the thing, uh, he was getting um, attacked by his brother. Claw caps are also very good to use if your cat has an injury, such around the neck or something that's hard to cover. Um, the injuries will itch as they're healing, so the claw cap will keep will give a nice round surface, which will prevent them from um, damaging the injury or re-injuring themselves. Also, keep in mind that different cats. Have a, different cats have a different preferences for how they scratch. Some cats like to scratch vertical objects like this. Some cats prefer horizontal. Trillian loves a long scratcher. She can get in there and just... We have an infinity scratch in the hallway just laying flat. And she loves that thing with a pad. And also, some cats like ones that are at an angle. So, keep that in mind. Never heard of one that likes it upside down, except for kittens, because they're weird. Yeah, as Ghosty said in chat, cats have different preferences for scratching material. Trillian really loves cardboard. Some cats like carpet. Some like, the, um, Ruthie likes the, the thistle rope. Trillium was having a problem using 
one of the square scratchers, and then we realize it's because she's a big girl. So we got a second one set side by side, and pff, she was in love. Interesting, Tracy. She did hear of a cat that liked to be upside down on a scratch. They're waiting for the mama. Yeah, this the st stair carpet stairs tend to be problematic with cats because they're they're like at that perfect angle. There's just something about carpet stairs that they love to sharpen their claws on. It's like the carpet on my old, the old carpet on my old stairs before the remodel was shredded to pieces. Oh, look at those two. I probably can't see it, but Twix just laid down in front of Zuko. Hand, full okay, hold on. They're both crowding it. I gotta get up. Teddy wants to come in too. She's right here. She wants to be changed, actually. <laughs> okay, come in. They suddenly became dead weight when I picked them up. Penny's here. What? No. Uh, 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 why did you I let him go <laughs> so soon? It said she wanted to be chased. Let me get help. Ow, ow. I want your clothes in the door to me. <laughs> no, I have my hands full, so it was just all. Go out right for the food, boom. Oh. So not too much, not a penny. I don't have anything. We'll give you some treats in a minute, okay? Okay. We're coming back. I'll give you guys some treats. Yep, twice. Oh, look at you guys. two escapes today. Adopted anytime oh. soon. Once Homer Pet has started up their adoption process again, we're going. They're going to be put up, uh, made available, it's which will probably be June first. Yeah, sometime. I I haven't heard anything about the when the shelter is going to open. You know, they've. I think they've extended the phase two two to June first. I heard today. So I don't know if that affects them or not. It should be the only pets in the house are these cats, cat-wise. Um, they prefer, they definitely they should really have an experienced cat parent, but if you're not ex experienced, you will become so very quickly. Um, we have a lot of uh, tips about them, things that will make transition a little bit easier, and they will make your life very happy, very full, and very frustrating. <laughs> frustrating. 
Because they're into everything. No. I think so. Should I do a square or what? Let's see. You do a square. Tonight. Because I don't learn. Well, yeah, I know, but it's bad behavior, especially with him with his um, dog bites lately. Twigs? No, but Zuko. I was playing with Twigs. I know. Oh my god, that's hilarious. My dangerous cutting skills. <laughs> well, they definitely will get adopted together, Louise. They are bonded. Which means they have to be adopted together and they are intended to spend their entire lives together. Bonded means lots of things, um, or can mean lots of different things. And primarily it means that one or both of the cats are reliant on the other. And in this case, they get along really well with each other, not so much any other cat. I, I do think that Zuko is a little bit more reliant on Twix than vice versa. They definitely like each other. They know each other and how they how to play properly, play fight. Yeah, I, I agree. Just single, they would just they wouldn't. They yeah. would drive the owner absolutely nutty. Yeah, definitely. These and they guys, would drive another cat nutty too. These guys have a very high energy. They complement each other very nicely. I'm trying, boy. But he grabbed it. Oop, there we go. Get it, get it, get it. Get your butt. 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 I tend to roughhouse pretty hard after we leave. Or take a nap. One of the two. If they're always st sticking together too, like I had kittens that would follow each other around, always sleep together. 
we made them bonded. And they still cut them to this day. Oh, that's good. Let's see. Gotta unlock the button lock. Can't remember how. the same bowl. They're weird. Oh wait dear. It says the next one's at 1 a 1 p.m. What about the one at 5? Because yeah. it just changed. Because before you press the buttons, it said it was going to happen at 5. So now you've just missed the 5 a.m. feeding. That was, a, that was a free feeding. I didn't skip it. Well, but it said 5 yeah. before you um, moved it. Now it says 1. Hmm. Do you want me to get the instructions? Uh, I'll, I'll fiddle with it. It's not supposed to skip the next one. It's called free feed. It's called the free feed button. Bonded cats. It's there not. you go. Set for 5 a.m. Thank you, dear. I just had to edit mode and exit edit mode. It's very magical to see their close bond. And then it's really sad, though, when one passes away before the other. That's the hardest thing. Feels nice. It's, there's a, it's like watching these two play, you would think they're actually having a cat fight. Uh, it's a real cat fight sounds like bloody murder, screaming, scream, uh, you can't see them moving, they're, they're wrestling so fast, they're literally a flock, blur of fur. So, anything you see here is just either a, Angry cat are playing, but it's not a full on fight. Now, B and Ruthie, on the other hand. Yeah. You, when they scream, I mean, when it's a really loud scream and they get all puffy. Yeah. That's a little bit more actual fight. Or anxiety involved and, yeah. and not play. B and Ruthie have like little spats where they reach out really far and go. Bah, 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 bah. But they don't touch each other. Yeah, very rarely do they actually make contact. But and very rarely do we let it escalate to that far. Power. Tonight it did because I was tired. But they didn't touch each other. Yeah, tonight on the staircase, Beatrice was on the stairs chasing a bug, and then she saw Ruthie, and she gave her, like, what, you want a piece of this? <laughs> and then she started moving up the stairs, like, I thought not. And then Ruthie came right after her, like, you want a piece of this? <laughs> Swatted, and B ran up, and then she turned around, I'll give you a piece of this. <laughs> and, bah, 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 bah. And, and then I went, hey. And they both stopped, and B went, like, looked at me, and they went, Voop. Puffed up. 
Ruthie came running down to me like, oh my god, she's coming to get me. I called her bluff. Help me. And she wasn't bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> It's ridiculous. But again, normally we don't let it escalate like that. I just didn't feel like intervening. She had to pee. No, I was tired. <laughs> they they take a lot of work. And you can't yell at them and you can't like, you have to handle it very delicately. delicately. But two minutes later, they were back up in the same room. Yeah, if, um, you gotta try to encourage proper behavior when they're near each other like give them both a treat and so that they start real thinking this hey good things happen when we're near each other if, it, if it's all about yelling and and separating they're not going to learn any, anything positive about it So the clicker training for these boys is because they, one, they are extremely smart. Like they pick things up real quick. And so we have to be able to give them mental stimulation. So a lot of time, you know, working for their food and um, they're just happier and meant to, and not bored. Like if they think that you're about to give them a treat, they will sit down and they'll, they'll plant their butt Yeah. and stay there. With Ruthie and B, we like I can use clicker training with Ruthie to distract her from locking eyes or locking that stare. Um, so by creating clicker training with Ruthie, I can get her to move or get distracted and not get escalate with with B. And for those listening later on the DVR recording, like Mary Jane said, a bored cat can be a destructive cat. Exactly. And these guys have so much energy and are so smart, they really thought thrive on routine. And our house pretty much runs like clockwork at this point. Everyone knows when it's time to go into their separate quarters. Yep. And these guys know when they want it, it's gonna come out. Yeah, after breakfast is is done, Beatrice and Nakia all make their way to the bedroom and they get the, those spots. They settle in for a nap, they get a little treat, and then these guys come out. Yeah, my guys go to automatically go downstairs, or the downstairs cat automatically go to their quarters. Yeah, it's, it kind of runs like clockwork, but sometimes alarms, the, the 12 o'clock, it's like boing, really loud. But not too bad. The other thing is that we're trying to work on places with these guys in the kitchen, so they are they don't just don't give you any room to breathe in the kitchen. Um, it's very difficult. So if we can teach them places, they'll know to sit in that specific place while we're in the kitchen, and they'll know that they get treats if they sit in that position. So it's more like they're manipulating us. They're like, hey, if I want treats, then I can go sit in this spot, and she's going to give us treats. Did you see what Siberia said? No. Oh, I scrolled off already. She said, I've seen a post where a cat learned that the clicker sound equals treats. So she would drag the clicker to someone, step on it to make it click, and then scream at them for treats. <laughs> I love that. Now that's a sign of a smart cat. Yeah, I highly recommend clicker training. It's all, it's like you're creating a new language with your cat. And so Ruthie and I have a very strong connection. Um, and it's something that she looks forward to every day. So it's her own personal time with her mom. They, they have cat, the cats need to be super treat motivated um, or food motivated. And um, it helps if they're a little smarter than the average cat. And if they're not too motivated for treats or food, there's other motivations you can give them, mm -hmm. such as a toy or petting. Uh, it can be hard to convince them. They have, it's got to be something they really enjoy. And I've seen not so smart cats pick it up too, because they get the food. They're they're more motivated by the food. Boop, 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 boop. Anyway, it's something um, I highly recommend, and 
wish I could do classes on it and do kitten, kitten training, kitten kindergarten. It helps like um, with uh, doing their nails, clipping of their nails as well. <laughs> you can't see Twix, but he's really cute. He's like hiding inside the canoe with just his head waiting for the right moment to ambush. Bees got your butt. He's like, what? Well, it's after 2 o'clock. We, sh we should be getting to bed. Yep. I took a nap starting around 10. <laughs> I, I, got, I got caught for, into work, so I, I took about 40 minutes just to find out it wasn't my problem. We have um, pretty stuff. We have stuff prepared for the weekend. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. We're, we're hoping to work on our path. Bebe's wondering how it helps with the nails. Oh, the clipper training? So, um, you know, if you do one nail and then click, and then you give them a treat, they can associate that as, oh, if you getting are you doing my nails, then I can uh, get a treat. I should try that with Nakia. Nakia is extremely treat motivated. When it's, I get Beatrice um, treats after her pill, and Nakia saw, so I had to give her a treat, and then now she totally associates um, pill time with treat time. She's on the island, starts screaming at me, give her, give me her pill. Nakia um, has actually done some clicker training, her and I. Um, I, I haven't done it recently with her because B, uh, Ruthie's always there and Ruthie gets very mad, but being, um, Ruth, Nakia, excuse me, Nakia knows paw, or high five really well and she knows touch again treat motivated so john's gonna get up and at six and go to home depot <laughs> I went to the Home Depot. We went to the Home Depot in Woodenville. We pulled in the parking lot and said, "Never mind," and went to the one in Everett. Yes, the thing about cutting cat's nails too sharp to make it bleed, you actually have to cut it pretty short. Um, you can actually see the quick in the nail most times, and you can use that just to try not to get to that point. And. If you're a little unsure, just take a little bit off. Just cut the sharp point what are you off. Doing? But like white claws that you can see through, usually they're really long and they're really sharp. Pretty much the whole thing can go. Just take it down a little bit at a time. And if you still can't bring yourself to do it, probably fifteen dollars with the vet. Now now do front and back. Who's the little baby? Who's the little baby? But nail clippings should be done approximately if you if you do it on schedule it should be every two weeks. John's late on doing Ruthie's. <laughs> I saw that. Get out of there. No, I'm putting it away, buddy, because we gotta go to bed. What are you doing? You look like a snail. Want your baby? Looks like a snail's butt. No, don't bite the scissors. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I use people nail clippers 
I, I just, for some reason, I just don't like nail clippers for pets. But it's like if you think of like the claws and go down, you all, with people clippers, you want to clip into the side of the claw. If you clip top and down, it can fracture and, and basically fracture down into the quick, which would be painful for your kitty and probably painful for you if they're the biting type. Like that. Yeah, that's a general rule in my house, Mary Jane. If you draw blood, you get clipped. Not for Ruthie, though. She's allowed to draw blood. Your blood, not mine. <laughs> She's drawn blood on Chris really bad, but that was that was a uh, human error. He went for the tummy, and she was like, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't funny because Chris did get hurt. Yeah, pet nail clippers have a curved cutting surface, which will, which will handle cutting, you know, top to bottom on a nail. People nail cut, nail cutters are straight. You have to go in from the sides. Touch my finger. What are you doing, buddy? It's like I found a piece. Oh, look, look, Antonio's gonna break into it. Oh, thank you, that was nice. Yeah, there's YouTube videos where you can watch somebody else trim claws and get tips. It's like I always set the kitty so that their haunch is I, I sit cross-legged I put the haunch in you know, their butt and hind legs in the in the center have the front legs resting on my leg and I just grab one paw at a time and trim them trim them all Nikia gets a little growly Penny's the best of them all but as soon as I let Nikia um, go she's like it never happened Now, Maya, that's one cat I never tried to trim. She, when, she, she, when she said no, she said no very loudly and very pointy with a swat. So it, was, it always took vet, uh, when she needed trimming, she had to go to the vet. Uh, she's defeated multiple groomers. I actually pay part of a grooming fee just for as a damage deposit. It took like three people to give uh, Maya her nail trims. If they get wiggly, just keep setting them back into position and eventually they'll be like, fine, get it over with. It may take a lot of wiggling, but eventually they'll give up. Do you see how this works, buddy? It's up here. Let me show you. Don't show them how to take the lid off. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a, it's a click a latch. Look. See how it this is why off. she's so <laughs> bad. Look, but oh, they're like, they fit, they're like, Peter! Jackpot! You can each have one. Oh my god, he's stepping in it. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> okay, buddy. And you should see it once we have got the garage cleaned up. She's like, do you want to go visit the garage? No, that's just And I'm like, name. no, because the car is in the garage. They'll go underneath the garage and they'll get all dirty. Or Penny, got the car. Penny was in there for quite a while tonight. I forgot about her. Yeah. Now they know, dear. <laughs> yeah, they are neutered. Oh, look, dear, they're going to step on the buttons. The, the shelter is open um, for taking care of shelter animals. They're not open to the public right now. Aren't you guys glad you have me in your life? You are not a nice person. <laughs> They're going to step on the buttons, I think. Yeah. 
That's fine. See, he's stepping on it, but they had to push two buttons together uh, okay. to really see the button lock symbol. Yeah, it's locked. They have to push this one and this one at the same time. Okay. So then, I'm, then, I'm, I'm, I'm more then they have to push this one. I, I'm more worried about them messing so they don't get fed. Oh, now they know. <laughs> it's important to know how it works. Now, don't be surprised if it gets knocked over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm to send you in. If it gets knocked over, it's your job to fix That's it. That's fine. Oh, yeah. You know, she did not like this feeder. Look at it. So now she's sabotaging <laughs> the feeder. Oh, yeah, it's hilarious. Let's go back a little bit so I can see. <laughs> Might as well. I'm sitting in the litter. Oh, Jesus. Aren't you guys so glad you have mommy to show you all the things in life? I showed that. Hmm? I was just talking about when Jeff was hit, blocked over. Look there. at, look at, look at, look at. Dear, look. Look. Yeah, it's nothing elective, not emergency. Um, they, they are doing routine <laughs> veterinary care right now, so maybe they are doing neuters. No, I don't think so. I think they're only take, they're not taking any new cats. I mean, it's like if they were already in their system, but unneutered. Like they don't have anyone in their system that would be unneutered right now. Young fosters. Oh, those. Yeah, they might. They might. Yeah, those. But I don't this, know. These guys are getting their vaccinations. Well, the, now the bows move and the food goes over the floor. <laughs> it's still like, going to happen. It's your fault. So what, would, so what I've done for other cats is I've had to put like a chair over it. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. See, we wouldn't have needed that if you didn't show them where the magic kibble they were. Would have, no, they would have, as soon as we filled it up here, they would have figured it out. Now they would be running around the house when we no, filled it up. Oh my god, he's biting the side of it. <laughs> You'd be surprised how often something like this happens. <laughs> She's like, you, you want to see what this is? And I'm sitting here, don't do that. Oh my God, he's going to break it. <laughs> you know, that was $100, right? I told you not to get it. I told you I'd oh, see cats break it. See, she's it. sabotaging. Yeah, I told you oh, they were going to yeah, figure it out. You probably out. showed them how to figure it out. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> this thing is well, going to get to I, Destroyed they today. saw you do it. It's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> Dear, look at him. See, it's already he's gonna miss and hit the floor at 5 a.m. And I'm gonna send you in to clean um, it up. He's try he was trying to put his paw up like the thing. Well, this right here it doesn't it doesn't do it. No, he was doing it up oh. here. He was putting his paw up the 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 chute. Not my fault. I had to distract them. They no, were gonna keep you're it up. making it worse. This side. Yeah. See that they were going to tear it up uh, until they got some food. I just took care of that problem. See, I wouldn't have had to do this if you didn't show them where the magic kibbles were. 
Okay, it's set for 5 a.m. It did not skip this time. <laughs> they haven't gone near the feeder until now. <laughs> uh, yep, he's going to want to know which button it is. Ghost. This is why we can't have nice things. No, I you made it worse by feeding them. No, I it's like I uh, no. <laughs> oh, that thing's gonna be knocked over. I also don't I also don't I'm not a fan of this feeder because I don't like storing a lot of food in one place. I like it to be bagged up and it's good, it has a good seal on it. It does have a good seal. You know. Oh my god, Twix was actually stepping in it. <laughs> They've had like three times the amount of their normal food. Not my fault. Well, yeah, because you already gave them one feed. Free, this is two free feedings. The yeah. second, okay, I was responsible for one. You were responsible <laughs> for two. <laughs> no, I was, I was responsible for the first one. And the second one you did. You made it sound like I was responsible for two free feedings. <laughs> yeah, if they break in it, they're gonna listen and mm, show them the magic. <laughs> yeah, they're probably gonna put together that the buttons. Step on the buttons. <laughs> it's like they're dating and we can't see the other side or something. Like, you know, the dating game. Yeah. <laughs> With the... Blind dating. Yeah. Yeah, right? They should probably gonna be a scarf situation at 3 a.m. Boys, don't do it. Don't throw it. Oh, he's looking again. He's like, okay, now my tummy's full. I'm now satisfied. Thank you, Dad. Mommy teased us. I do hope that their home does not give them a buffet of food. Yeah, don't free feed these guys. They need to be fed on a schedule. You know, one for training purposes, two for behavior, three health-wise. These guys are at the ideal weight right now. If they're free fed, they're just going to turn into blimps. Very big, very heavy blimps. These guys are huge. You can lick the residue off. You can do that. Nope. He look what he's going to do now. He's like, wait, I know it comes out of there. He's thinking about it and he's processing it. I'm leaving. <laughs> he's going to study it. getting a little hard to get up. <laughs> well, 50's right around the corner, dear. If I'm not mistaken, it's two months away. And as Tracy said in Shag, cats do better if they're fed on the schedule. Yep, they do. Alright, boys. Have fun with the feeder. You show it to the boss. <laughs> have a good night. Love you guys. Enjoy the kitties. Have a nice day. Oh, they're going to be so preoccupied.